So 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 If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. If you have not been here, press that subscribe button, push the notification bell, and you will be notified every time I come up with a video. Today, we're going to be cooking cold sl purple slaw, purple slaw with um, beer battered fish. Okay, we're going to get started here. And uh, I'm going to shred my cabbage up. You have to rinse your cabbage, cut it in half, and uh, take out the core. Now, this part didn't have the core, so we didn't have to worry about the core. So, we're going to slice it up very, very thin. And I'm only fixing two sandwiches, so I won't be making a lot of slaw. and green cabbage, but I'm going to keep it purple, okay? Then you're going to put about a tablespoon of shredded or chopped onions, about a tablespoon of sugar, About a half a tablespoon or a teaspoon of vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Squeeze of lemon. And about one fourth cup of Duke's mayonnaise. I like Duke's mayonnaise because it tastes like aioli. So then we're going to stir it around. And then we're going to put it to the side and bring our fish out. And this is cod fish because it's a flaky fish. I'm gonna put some salt on it. And the salt firms it up. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little pepper. Okay, now we need a batter. And I'm going to put paprika in my batter about, about a teaspoon. And listen, the kind of flour that we're using today is gluten-free, all-purpose flour. Because it does have rice flour in it, and that makes it crispy. So you don't have to add the the um, cornstarch and baking powder. Now, if you want to add cornstarch and baking flour, uh, baking powder, you can add it to all-purpose flour. This gluten-free flour, all-purpose flour, is gonna give a give a crisp, crunchy like texture to the fish. Cayenne pepper about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon Tony Zachary's Creole and 
about a teaspoon. And I put a cup of the gluten-free flour in the bowl. Seafood seasoning. I always have a hard time getting this open. About a teaspoon. Mix it up. Then you're gonna add, I add L beer. And this is called Blue Moon Belgian White, Belgian style wheat, wheat ale. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up like a pancake mixture and I'm gonna put just a little bit in at a time. About a half a cup. Start it off with a half a cup. Okay. I'm going to put it over here by the stove. And I used about <clears throat> just about the whole bottle of beer. I would say about a third, about a third of the beer. Then we're gonna put a half a cup of gluten-free all-purpose flour in our other little bowl. Okay, we're gonna dip it in the gluten-free flour. Shake it off. Next, we're going to add it in the beer batter. Shake it off. Then we're going to drop it in the grease. 